here for Bakersfield College students and with two separate sexual assaults taking place on campus over the past two years, school officials maintain safety is a priority. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders reached out to campus officials to find out what they're doing now to keep students and faculty members safe. Josh. Yeah, Tim, Jess in April, I spoke with the college's director of public safety to find out what the campus is doing to protect faculty and students after another woman fought off an attempted sexual assault in one of the bathrooms on campus. Today again was the first day of class and I went back to BC. Well, we're looking into um, technology as technology comes out uh, available. We're looking into uh, possibly looking at um, apps for phones, um, that type of thing. That was Chief Christopher Count's response after 23ABC spoke with him following the attempted sexual assault of a woman in one of the bathrooms on the Bakersfield College campus in April. The second sexual assault in two years. Last week, a Kern County jury found 21-year-old Brandon Robinson guilty of 15 felony accounts, including an attack on BC's campus in 2017. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do feel safe on campus. It's Mackenzie Adams' first day of class at BC, the renegade freshman unaware of the recent history of assault on campus. Well, I've done the um, in-person orientation and the online orientation, and from what I recall, they didn't go over campus security very much at all. That information a surprise after the chief told 23ABC that communicating with students about campus safety was a priority for his office. After the April attack, he said the campus was looking into a new alert system along with video surveillance technology and a blue light system with emergency telephones similar to Cal State Bakersfield. Today, the chief released this statement saying his department has, quote, increased our number of officers and cadets on campus and are in the process of replacing our patrol vehicle fleet. I mean, this is my first day here, but from what I see, I don't really see too many campus security people. I see um, kids that are like um, volunteering to ride the go-karts and stuff around to transport students, but I don't really see too much security. As a man, I don't feel as uh, vulnerable to these attacks because as you can see from the last few semesters, there's just been a lot of incidents going around the girls' bathroom and stuff like that. Uh, girls have been uh, luckily just going in packs and watching themselves. Valentin Vargas is a junior at BC working with campus public safety. He does see a difference in how men and women should approach safety on campus. I would still suggest for women to still stay on their toes and stay aware just in case because uh, not all the time the help can come right away so you'd have to uh, what my what my boss says uh, the head of security says is if you see something say something and do something now we did reach out to chief counts again about updates on campus security again he released a statement with the latest information that line of see something say something and do something well we've heard that before i did speak with a professor on campus who said they believe the campus is working with the resources they have but feels like there's always more that can be done and i also spoke with one of the security cadets who feels that the campus is outdated and video surveillance would benefit campus security tim jess